Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fear and Loathing New Vegas. Um, yeah, last time we left off we were in the middle hey. of a murder investigation involving this guy, which I don't think I want to delve further into, not at this juncture. I think uh, something I'd definitely want to come back to, you know? cannibalism and all that. But for now I think I've got other things. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to look for implants. I've got to look for all these things. So Salutations. Sorry Ted, your son's gonna oh heck. Your son Ted's gonna have to wait. Tell me good news. Um I'll be here. Yeah. I don't want to provoke anything just that yet. That tower oh, on the strip, the one you can see for miles, I hear it ain't sealed up no more. The thing is, when I come back here, I won't be able to bring any weapons. Share. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to come back. So where to now? Man, this helmet is kind of claustrophobic. Yeah. Did I come that way? Did I come that way? Hey, your lady friend seems out of place here. You telling me? <sighs> hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Um, five words from my cold, dead hands. Why do you need my guns? Security, baby. Can't make the bread if the bakers are full of lead. You dig it? Don't worry, you're safe as houses in here. Courtesy of Mr. House. Okay. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Uh, where'd you take my weapons? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. What is there to do here? Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Have a good time, baby. Hey there, pal. Welcome to the Tops. And what can I do for you today? Who are you? Ain't been on the strip long, have you, pal? Name's Swank. This is my joint. Swanky joint, Swank. I thought Benny ran this place. Benny oversees the business, sure, but I run the tops day to day. I'm his right-hand guy, you dig? Can you give me the rundown on New Vegas? Sure, kid, sure. What can I tell you? What's the story with the white gloves? Creepy bunch of cats, you ask me. Ah, oh, sure, they act all polite and civilized, but there's something off about them, you dig? Don't get me wrong. That resort of theirs is ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Sure, whatever you want. Nice place you got here. Tell me about it. The Tops? Yeah, sure. You want the nickel tour? Old Swank's happy to oblige. We got everything you could want. 
slot machines in the back, cards and roulette in the front, fine entertainment upstairs in the Aces Theater. And all with your security personally guaranteed by the chairman and Mr. House's own Securitron police. It's the tops. I think you should know something about Benny. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? Well, why don't you say it to his face instead of yapping at me? Actually, never mind. Yeah, I thought so. You're a smart kid, you know that? I'm looking to make a few extra caps. Got any jobs you need done? You might have a jaw at Tommy Torini up in the Aces. He's always looking for talent scouts. Yeah, see you, kid. Hey, there's the high roller. Yeah, damn right. Ring-a-ding, baby. Damn this freaking thumbstick. I think my vision's, vision's all blurry because... Uh, um, my health is so low. Mm. Are better looking at you. That was Benny over there in the corner, I noticed. This place is the bee's knees. How's it hanging? Evening. Did you know really the strip's all stirred up late? Hey. Hello. You know what, I'll come back here. That shit to do. Hey. I dig this crazy slang. Hey. See you around. Okay. That's ultra lux been in there. Um Howdy. Good seeing you again. All right, kid. Be good. Good to see you again. All right, goodbye. What is my perception? Three. What the fuck? That's not good. That means I wouldn't mo notice a freaking asteroid coming straight towards me. Please, do not stand in the fountains. Hello? I bet it feels real nice to be carrying those weapons around on the strip. That damn Mr. House has forbid any NCR military personnel from carrying any sort of firearms on the Strip. Well, except for Captain Pappas. Mr. House still doesn't trust the NCR. A word of advice. The Securitrons won't put up with any funny stuff out there, so don't do anything stupid. Is this your first time on the Strip? Uh, yes it is. Well, it's time to pop your Vegas cherry, friend. I'm sure you'll have a blast and be drunk and capless in no time. I can give you a bit more information about the various casinos if you're not sure on where to get started. Tell me about the casinos. Well, there's the Lucky 38, Ultra Lux, Gamora, and the Tops. Which one do you want to know about? Let's deal with Ultra Lux. The Ultra Lux is the nicest casino on the Strip. Real high-end, extravagant, and expensive. Best you have a lot of caps if you want to go there. What do you know about Gamora? Gamora is the favorite of the NCR troops on the Strip. If you like girls, alcohol, gambling, and drugs, then Gamora is just the place for you. What's the Tops like? The Tops is the cool place to be right now. Lots of entertainment and shows going on there as well as the gambling. If you want to catch a show and have a few drinks, you should definitely hit up the Aces Theater in the Tops. Right. Tell me about Lucky 38. I don't know much about it, to tell the truth. That's where Mr. House and his Securitrons are set up, and no one's been in there as long as people can remember. Probably best that you just ignore it. Ask away. What else is there to do besides the casinos? Well, there's Vault 21 and the NCR Embassy. Both places are located on the south side of the Strip. 
Vault 21 is a small hotel and gift shop. It's not as nice as the casinos, but it's a whole hell of a lot cheaper. The NCR Embassy is the headquarters for the NCR on the Strip. The Ambassador and his offices are there as well as the MP headquarters. Sir. Sir? How quaint. <sighs> Damn it, I need to sleep. Toilets. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Tippy tape. Strip secure. Hold it. NCR only beyond this point. Keep your distance or I will fire. Okay, lady. Can I talk to you? No! I think Veronica's just like killing everyone. What a cheerful place. Okay, first I need to see a doctor. Then I need to win some more uh, chips. Is there anything? Okay, NCR outpost. They must have a doctor to patch me up. Ready to try your luck? No violence is permitted on the strip. Do, 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 do. Vegas at night is like nothing else. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Welcome to Vegas. Make your visit a peaceful one. Can I help you? Um, what is this place? This is the NCR Embassy, our little slice of heaven on the Strip. The main building houses administration, while the other building is the MP headquarters on the Strip. What's happening on the Strip? The usual. Troopers getting drunk and causing problems? Like that's a surprise to anyone. Hell, I plan on getting drunk once I'm done with my shift. Maybe even head over to Gamora for a good time. I'm looking for a Mr. Crocker. You can find him in the main embassy building, inside the gate and to your left. Bye. Sir. Okay. I need a doctor. You're wasting no time in making a name for yourself around here, huh? You look what is doctor? Yo, we won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Don't open locked doors. <sighs> Don't try and open locked doors. Otherwise you'll get shot. Hey there. Got business here? Help you? Oh. 
prisoners. Move! Out of my way! Hey! Nothing interesting here. Go quietly. Oops! The Legion can count on that. Don't shoot Help me. You. Don't shoot me. I just I didn't know it was locked. We've heard about you from the officers at our embassy. I need a doctor, man. Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? Um, what can you tell me about the embassy? The embassy offices are to your left, while the barracks and living quarters are to the right. If you're looking for a history lesson, I suggest you talk to Ambassador Crocker. Tell me about yourself, Money Penny. I don't have time to give my life story to everyone that passes through. Is there something I can actually help you with? It's not nice, Money Penny. I'm looking for the ambassador, Money Penny. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Sir? Door to your right, so I'll take the door to your right. But what's to the door to your left? That's what I want to know. Beds. What is it? Hey, pop off. I hear you've been meeting with Mr. House in the Lucky 38. Hm. I bet you think you're pretty special, don't you? Yep. Special or not, stay out of trouble, and more importantly, stay out of my way. What can you tell me about the ambassador? If you want to know more about the ambassador, go talk to him yourself. I'd like to know more about you. Look, I don't know you at all, and I'm not really interested in small talk. If you have something important to say, do so quickly. What's happening on the Strip? Ah, uh, people drink, gamble, and fight. What do you think happens on the Strip? Any other intelligent questions? Not really. Goodbye. Bye. Evening. Hey. I say. Help you? This helm is starting to piss me off. Ton of vision. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. So you're the one that went into the Lucky 38. I bet that was pretty creepy. What can I do for you? Um, what's happening on the strip? Us troopers mostly come to the strip for our R&R. &R. We blow off some steam by gambling, drinking, partying, or fighting. If you're looking for a good time, I'd suggest hitting up Gamora. The girls there are pretty nice, if you know what I mean. Tell me about yourself. What have you heard? I know people think I'm a little on the wild side, but I'm just trying to have fun, you know? Just because I happen to get into fights and like to pull pranks doesn't mean anything. Okay. What do you know about the ambassador? Sorry, I don't know much about him. We run in different circles, you know? What can you tell me about Captain Papas? If you're digging for dirt on the captain, you're digging in the wrong place. Want to play a hand of caravan? Bring it on, buddy. You must have at least 30 cards. Uh, somebody give me some cards, man. Hmm. Okay, I know you're tired. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. No one here. Hello. Oh, Ambassador. Ah, I see you received my message. Good, good. I don't know. I had something important to discuss with you. Um, I'm listening. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. 
You have my attention. Well, go on. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. Mm. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you perks? think you would be able to do this for me? Yeah, I'll find them and talk to them. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. Um, I want to talk about the boomers. Thanks for doing this. Remember, we need their resources to help us in the upcoming battle. Do whatever it takes. Tell me about yourself, Ambassador. Interested in politics, huh? No, not really. Well, grab a seat and get comfortable. I've been in politics quite a while now. Always had the drive to do it even when I was young. It's just something I was drawn to. I started my career over 20 years ago, back in the NCR as the local mayor, and worked my way up from there. I managed President Kimball's first run for a seat on the council. I suppose that's why I have this ambassadorship. Interesting not. Go on. I was elected to this post seven years ago. I'm the third NCR representative to serve here in Vegas. Now, I've had my share of ups and downs along the way, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. That's it. Anything else you wish to know? Uh, I'd like to know more about the NCL. I can provide a quick history lesson, if that's what you're looking for. In 2274, President Kimball sent the NCR army into the Mojave in force with the objective of occupying and repairing Hoover Dam. Rangers and army scouts had confirmed that the dam was basically unoccupied and could be restored to an operable condition. Upon arriving at the dam, however, they discovered that a large force of tribals and robots had occupied it. This was our introduction to the three families, the Securitrons and, of course, Mr. House. Using his Securitrons as intermediaries, Mr. House called for parlay. He claimed his forces had occupied Hoover Dam in order to safeguard it for our arrival, and that he was ready to turn it over to us, so long as we could agree to terms. Those terms became the Treaty of New Vegas. The treaty recognized Mr. House's sovereignty over the Strip and granted us rights to establish military bases at the Dam and McCarran Airport. The NCR is legally permitted to send 95% of the electricity produced by the Dam to our home states. The remaining 5% goes to the Strip. The treaty actually makes it illegal for the NCR to prevent its citizens or troops on furlough from visiting the Strip. Once on the Strip, our citizens are subject to arrest or punishment by House of Securitrons, though that's a rare occurrence. Our troops enjoy a different status. It's illegal for the Securitrons to take action against them. Of course, it's also illegal for our troops to carry firearms on the Strip, so there isn't much trouble they can get into. Our military police does an adequate job of keeping the troops on furlough in line. I don't envy them that task. The embassy was established a few weeks after the treaty was signed. Basically, Mr. House handed us a dumpy little building he had no interest in renovating. I'm the third ambassador to hold this post, and the first, I think, to accept its limitations. My predecessors had ambitions of engineering the annexation of the Mojave. They thought they'd convince Mr. House to join up. I've never even spoken to the man, or whatever he is. Maybe the situation will change once we've beaten the Legion once and for all. Go on. Now we mostly just keep track of the NCR citizens and troopers around and make sure they don't get in trouble, but that's Captain Papa's job. I keep myself busy with paperwork and reports that get sent back to the NCR. It's mostly busy work, but every once in a while we make progress. What's happening around the Strip? It's the same old stuff around here. Gambling, debauchery, drunkenness. It's all here. I'm getting a little old for it, however. If you want more information, try talking to some of the other guys around here. I don't get out of the office much anymore. I always have time for... Okay. So no doctors. We'll have to go back to Farkas. So... Let's check this place out first. Oh, 
Oh, I'm hungry. Wowzers. Hello, I am Michelangelo. How can I... Uh... Wait. Are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please tell me you're not a messenger on behalf of Mr. House. Um... Why are you so jittery about Mr. House? Because spending myself to the edge of artistic oblivion for Mr. House sums up my existence since I had to leave Vault 21. That's why. An artist. Rare thing to see. What's your story? You lived in Vault 21. Tell me about that. I guess you're having trouble with Mr. House's request. What the problem? You lived in Vault 21? Tell me about that. Most people don't uh, understand what it means to grow up in a vault. I do. Its corridors, its walls, radiate a warmth that feels safe, honest. But here, everything is huge and threatening so empty that I think one of these days I'll just snap. Sounds like you don't like this place. What's wrong with it? I feel haunted by something terrible. Working in such a huge workshop often makes me shiver. I can't even leave the strip. So is this fear of the outside world draining your inspiration? Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. Why don't you pack up and return to Vault 21? Wouldn't that be great? No, Mr. House filled it with concrete. Only a few rooms and halls remain. My sister was able to turn them into a hotel. You're an artist, rare thing to see. What's your story? Well, I... Uh, not much. Really. Vault 21 was my home. My dear home. I left it to explore the outside world. At first it was a marvel to behold. My inspiration flowed true and its works caught Mr. House's attention. And that's how I ended up in this place. I guess you're having trouble with Mr. House's request. What's the problem? It's this place. My inspiration ebbs, and I don't know how to stop it. Oh, I can't feel the warmth anymore. Okay, that was you, Sue. Well, all right. So, um, bye. Oh, what do you want? Oh, I'm stuck. Get out of here. Hello. Hi. What can I do for you? Uh, what is this place? You saw our front sign, didn't you? This is where all the beautiful signs of the strip become a reality. It all comes from Michelangelo's imagination. We do a little work here and there, too, sure, but he's the real artist. Who is Michelangelo? He's the reason the strip shines like a star at night. Mike's imagined and built every sign, billboard, and light you'll see around here. Check out the back of the shop. He's usually working there. Tell me again about Michelangelo. He's the reason the strip shines... How long have you worked here? I've been here over a year now. Though I'm not one to get tired for long. I plan to roam the wasteland once I'm ready. The people need light and kindness. There's too much fear and pain out there already. Goodbye. Bye. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. 
Uh, what kind of things do you sell in this gift shop? I have all sorts of things. Vault souvenirs, vault wares, vault machines, vault mementos, and vault suits. And, well, lots of other vault things, too. Uh, vault gear as well. Show me what you got. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, I got these great lunch boxes. They're super. What else? Oh, oh, look at these toasters. You like toast, right? If they're crunchy, even better. What about a vintage vault tech toy car? Or... Sarah, stop right there. Do you actually have any vault gear? Okay, I do, but who wants a lame sensor module or a nitrogen canister anyway? I do. All the popular stuff has been sold, especially the vault suits. I need to find more because people buy them like hotcakes. Leather suits are good times. Think about that just blows my top. Um, I might be persuaded to lend a hand. You would? You really would? That would help me a lot. I'll pay you good money per each suit. All right, consider it done. Thank you so much. Good to see you again. A vault hotel. Was it like this before the war? No, silly. Of course it wasn't always a hotel. I grew up in it. I love it. My favorite place in the world. Not that I know much of the world. I never left this place, come to think of it. But it is the most special vault ever. What's so special about this vault? My vault is pure New Vegas. Everyone has a chance, and Lady Luck smiles if you play your odds right. Okay, it was like that before we had to leave. Vault 21 had very smart ways to help people get along. All arguments and fights got solved through gambling. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a quick tour of my home. Oh yeah, if you like. Okay. Rightio, daddy-o. Let's do it. Alright, please follow me. We'll head into the vault right away. This reminds me of a certain Skyrim quest. This bunker protects the entrance to the vault. Solid stone outside and thick steel on the inside. Hey. Okay, come on. Good to see you again. Okay, see you soon. I am on the verge of death. Hello. Yes, I am on the verge of death and I'm taking a tour around a vault. Just in case. Above us, there's a control center for this level of the vault's life support systems, electric grid, radioactive shields, and all that jazz. Don't get lost. My vault has many corridors and rooms, although it is no longer symmetrical after Mr. House threw us out. Watch your caps. They go quick. Hmm. This is the main game hall. Here we settled the big disputes among the vault's levels.
chosen representatives gambled against each other here. The winner earned the right to settle the dispute as wished by the collective. We used to have such parties in this diner. A bitch to clean later, but well worth it. Hello. Evening. Your friend seems too civilized for a place like this. You mean the dog or the woman? Hey? This hall leads to our guest rooms. You can use the first room on our left, but no snooping next door. That's my room. Always was. Watch your caps. They go quick. Down there is the game room. <sighs> Each side of the vault had one, but the other is filled with concrete now. Okay, that wraps it up. I'll see you soon. Evna, good to see you again. Are you there, Ines? Well, oh, it shit. is my vault, all right. I mean, yeah, that is, no. I take care of it, but I suppose you could say that it belongs to Mr. House. Mm. What does Mr. House have to do with Vault 21? Mr. House has everything to do with Vault 21. He tried to get us out before he filled it with concrete. I almost went ape. So we convinced him. Okay, Sheldon and I, right? We convinced him to leave the top level mostly intact. Why did he fill the vault with concrete? I don't know. Maybe he didn't want anybody sneaking around down there. Hmm. My vault runs deep and wide. It's filled with corridors and rooms that go far. What gives him the right to screw us with the royal shaft anyway? So he saved New Vegas. Woohoo! Now scram and let us go on with our lives. Sheesh. I would like to know other things about you in this hotel. I see. Okay, your move. Damn it, how many times do I have to ask Yeah, and that? you gotta dig what I did with it. Looking as good as it should? Almost. Do you miss the old days? It was bustling with activity. We all knew each other so well. You see, the vault kept us all even. It's all symmetry and windows down there. We solved any quarrels through gambling. Lady Luck cast no eyeballs, you know? So, nobody shafted anyone else. Yeah, I miss those days. You know Doc Mitchell? Mitch? You mean Mulbutt? I hadn't thought about that name in a long time. I was just a child and he had a big mole in his rear bumper. You understand, kids and all that. Everyone knows about each other in a vault. There's no other way. I hope Mole, I mean, Mitch, is doing well. Do you get a lot of business? Sure. The place is packed. Usually. We get loads of NCR cubes these days. A stray Brahmin Baron once in a while, and recently circled couples shining big rocks on their fingers. Okay. How can I help you? I see. That's enough of that. If I can remember which way is out. Around? Hey, there's probably some stuff down here. I'll have to uh, take a closer look later. <laughs>